Hey, Steve Piper. So whenever you do anything online, whenever you share what you're doing in an online community beyond your immediate circle of friends, uh, you're going to get a number of different kinds of responses. You're going to get some very positive responses. You're going to get no response at all from many people. And you're also going to get some really negative responses, like personal and hateful and terrible and spiteful and awful responses. People will type things to you personally that they would never have the courage to say to you in person. It's a really interesting phenomenon. I, I flew fighters for 20 years and I've been around the block for a while and I have a pretty thick skin, but some of the stuff still kind of hits home. You know, you, you sort of, you feel really exposed out there. Uh, so it's something to keep in mind as you start growing your fan base and putting yourself out there. Uh, it's easy to let the trolls bring you down. So you have to know that they're out there. Number one, number two, there's always something you can learn from them. Maybe when you take a step back from the uh, super hurtful way that they made their point, maybe there's a valid point there. Usually not. <laughs> Usually they're just full of shit. Usually they're just out to make you angry or out to hurt somebody or uh, they had a bad day and, and they feel angry and powerless and they want to take it out on somebody. Uh, but occasionally, occasionally there's a gem in there that you can use. And in, in our position here at the Six Figure Musician Training Program, we, we spread the word about our courses and other programs uh, via the, the big ones, Google, Facebook, and whatnot. Uh, and we actually, we sort of track who the trolls are. And uh, I don't mean like we stalk them. I just mean that whenever we get trolled, we want to understand what what's happening is uh, is this a legitimate issue that we should deal with if not what kind of person has this bitterness in them and the reason that i'm interested in this and that we're interested in this is because we're we're communicating with our fellow musicians like this is these are my people these are our these are our people these are us right so why are some people really bitter and really angry and really pissed off that Somebody who's not a, you know, Berkeley trained, uh, pedigreed musician can make a bunch of money making music. Why is that happening? And uh, believe it or not, there are two patterns that have emerged. What I mean is, uh, one of two things is usually the case when somebody has just these like awful things to say online. Because in the online world, you can check them out. You can view their profile. And musicians put their music up on their profile. And you get a sense for exactly where they are in their career and exactly what they're doing. And the trolls fall in one of two categories. Almost without fail. Like almost 100% of the trolls uh, that we've encountered since we started this whole project fall into one of two categories. Uh, and they all... They all have the same characteristic. They're frustrated with their lack of progress, making money and making, growing a fan base and making music. They've been at it for a long time and they're upset because they're not, it's not going as fast as they want or as well as they want. Uh, and they're mad that somebody else, especially somebody who they feel has less talent than they do, makes more money. But those people fall, they're, they're not making money because their process falls into one of two problem categories. The first one is they're just not making good music. Like it's just not good music. It's not well written. It's not well produced. Uh, it might be weird esoteric stuff that even if it was well written and well produced, just does not have an audience. Um, that's, the first major mistake. And some of these folks have written 50, 100 songs that just don't fit anywhere. They're, they're not developed. They're not developing with additional songs. Uh, and they're not a good fit for any known genre out there. So nobody understands the music in a way that would make them willing to, to pay for it. That's the first problem. The second category of people who are angry and bitter, angry and bitter enough about their lack of musical progress to hate on the people who, who have done reasonably well, 
those people actually are making good music that is genre appropriate, that is well written and well produced and and is very professional. But those people can't be bothered to go build a fan base. They think that if they just make good music, that's all there is to it. And unicorns and fairy dust and rainbows will happen and dollars will show up and fans will appear as if by magic, even though there's 5 million songs or more available for download right now. So obviously this isn't working out for them. So if you're not making professional, professional sounding, uh, genre appropriate music, you're not going to be able to grow a fan base. That's why it's important to study your genre and it's important to work on your musical chops. I'm not God's gift to music by any stretch, but certainly I've, I've put hours in to, to improve my, my ear and my sensibility and my taste and my craft and my performance. And everybody has to do that. You also need to get real, like honest, almost bare knuckled feedback. <laughs> Somebody needs to tell you, bro, the chorus, it's not a chorus, or this lyric is not working, or this whole song, it's a one more song under your belt, uh, don't bother recording it, just go write the next song. <laughs> you need honest feedback in your musical process too. So the, and the second thing is that once you are making music that is fan ready, that is radio ready, you do have to build a fan base. You have to go out and build it. It's not a magic thing. You don't just make great music and fans magically show up. Guess what? If you've, if you've been around a while, you recognize those two themes, right? Make great music and make a connection with fans. And it's no surprise that the people who are the most bitter, who've worked, worked very hard and very long, put lots of hours in, but who haven't had any results, many of those people are just doing one of those basic things wrong. So that's the, the first lesson from the trolls. The second lesson from the trolls is the trolls themselves. And this, this one is actually super critical because it could be so discouraging that you question your decision to be a musician. Like people say some really hurtful things. And you know what? Screw them. It's more about them than about you. And half the time, half the time at least, those folks are jealous. So don't feed the trolls, don't be scared of them, and most importantly, don't let them discourage you from moving forward with your music career. All right, Steve Piper here. We'll see you next time.